Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for tracks by one hit wonders that may not have received the same amount of attention as their claim to fame, but are still good. Number 10. Mike Oldfield's single, Tubular Bells Mike Oldfield Mike Oldfield's Moonlight Shadow was one of his most digestible tunes, hitting number one across several European countries. The trees Although his debut single, Mike Oldfield's single, Tubular Bells, was a hit in the United States and is known for its use in the film The Exorcist, it didn't have the level of international success as Moonlight Shadow. The full-length experimental piece features several different sections with various instruments, from pianos to electric guitars. It transcends both genre and mood, creating a genuinely unique experience that takes the listener on an audio journey. The album containing this piece was a big hit in the UK, but the full song unfortunately still remains largely unknown to the public. Number 9. Drop Dead Gorgeous – Republica Striking the perfect intersection between rock and roll and club music, Republica quickly carved out a niche for themselves. Their first single, Ready to Go, became internationally known after being remixed in 1996, becoming an anthem for young women everywhere. It put the band on the map, but the rest of their releases didn't make the same impact. Drop Dead Gorgeous had all the makings of another hit, with brighter production and an undeniably catchy hook that's nearly impossible not to sing along to. Although it performed very well in the UK, elsewhere it struggled commercially compared to their initial release. While it may not be widely recognized, it still perfectly encapsulates the era, making it well worth a listen now. Number 8. Most people I know think that I'm crazy. Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs. He may be a one-hit wonder to the United States, but in Australia, he's a rock legend. In the 1970s, Billy Thorpe found success with Children of the Sun. The epic number was well received in the United States, making it to number 41 on the Billboard Hot 100, and that's pretty much all Americans know about him. But his band, Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs, dominated down under, with most people I know think that I'm crazy becoming successful domestically. Most people I know think that I'm crazy. It wasn't able to find an international audience, causing his eventual solo work to take center stage. I know at times I act a little hasty, but While it may not have broken records, it's still a timeless release, and between the heartfelt lyrics and classic sound, it's clear to see why. Number 7. Ziploc Lit. For an instant, they captured the voice of a generation. Lit's My Own Worst Enemy became a near instant classic following its release in 1999. Its punk elements and relatable message caused it to resonate with millions. The song's reach was so immense that it completely overshadowed every other release of theirs, including their follow up single, Ziploc. Like their debut, it had a guitar-driven instrumental and deep lyrics. Me, 
despite following a similar formula, it only saw a fraction of the success. Still, its infectious refrain has made it an anthem in its own right, even if it's only to a few people. While it may have faded to the background, it's still a quintessential piece within their discography and pop punk as a whole. Without me. Number 6. Someday We'll Know New Radicals Many one-hit wonders of the 1990s helped to define the sound of the decade. New Radicals is the ultimate example with You Get What You Give, becoming a generational bop that's still recognized as one of the best of its era. While they were on track to having a booming career, the group broke up just before the release of their second single, giving it essentially no chance of seeing similar success. 90 miles outside Chicago, can't stop driving. Someday We'll Know was the opposite of their initial release, both lyrically and sonically. It's true love just once in a lifetime. It shows how versatile they were as a group with the ability to pull off both anthems and ballads. While it unfortunately came and went without much fanfare, it's still a reminder of what could have been. Number 5. Breakaway – Tony Basil Most people today know her for her infectiously cheery cover of the Racy's Mickey, which became a vital part of pop culture that's still referenced to this day. However, that wasn't Tony Basil's only contribution to the arts. I've got to get away from before I become Her first release, Breakaway, is credited as being one of the precursors to the modern-day music video, despite it not making any waves upon release. It was featured in a short film of the same name, consisting of her performance alongside various groundbreaking editing techniques. The song itself is vastly different from her follow-up hit, showing off her impressive vocals over a classic 60s sound. It shows that a track doesn't have to go number one to still have a cultural impact. Number 4. Living in the Plastic Age the Buggles. The Buggles' video killed the radio star helped put MTV on the map. I heard you on the wireless back in 52, lying awake intently tuning in on you. It had the perfect combination of pristine production and timely lyrics, creating a piece that helped usher in a more visual era of music. That wasn't their only number to comment on the state of society at the time. Every day my mental friend shakes my bed at 6 a.m. Their following release, Living in the Plastic Age, was biting commentary on the culture of the 70s, calling out how business-oriented and artificial it was. Unfortunately, it didn't have the same reach as their debut, causing it to fade to the background. Despite the message still being eerily applicable to today's day and age, it remains criminally underrated. Number 3. Slide Away – The Verve Bittersweet Symphony was more than just a hit. It was a cultural phenomenon. It's a bittersweet symphony that's the orchestra sampled instrumental and emotional lyrics helped it stand out in the best way possible, creating a bop that's still appreciated today. It quickly became the Verve's signature piece, causing other releases to be overshadowed as a result. While not reaching the same level of regard, Slide Away is the perfect representation of their original vibe.
It has a more traditionally grunge instrumental, capturing the sonic landscape of the early 1990s and laying the foundation for their eventual success. The two songs demonstrate their evolution as a group both musically and commercially, serving as proof that an act can completely switch up their sound and still reach unprecedented levels of success. Number 2. Eyes Wide Open – Godier His mainstream career came and went in the blink of an eye, but that doesn't make the rest of his discography any less impressive. Somebody that I used to know helped define the early 2010s despite sounding unlike other bestsellers at the time. The sheer success of the piece eventually caused Godier to pull away from the music industry entirely, leaving the rest of his catalog severely underappreciated. So Eyes Wide Open is merely a glimpse into his musical genius. It's essentially the opposite of his biggest hit, with much brighter production and higher, more ambitious vocals. It exemplifies his versatility as an artist and had the potential to be big, but unlike its more melancholy follow-up, barely touched the charts. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Movies – Alien Ant Farm Their biggest release may have been a cover of an already legendary song, but they still managed to make it their own. Alien Ant Farm's hard rock rendition of Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal went on to become their signature piece, eclipsing their own original works. Movies was the band's first single, detailing the struggle of moving on from a breakup. It was a solid debut, and it made some noise, but not as much as it deserved. They even tried releasing it again following their sudden rise with Smooth Criminal, but even then, its success was modest. Had they not released the cover, then it might have stood on its own, but unfortunately, it remains as forgotten as the rest of their original discography. Which overlooked song by a one-hit wonder do you think deserved to be a hit? Let us know in the comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.